Hi, I'm Dr. Nohidaya, a highway engineering lecturer from University of Technology Malaysia. Today, I'm going to talk about the art of road construction and causes for problematic roads. I hope that by the end of this video, you will learn the correct procedures in road construction. In this video, we will use the art of baking a layered cake, which is a common delicacy in Malaysia, as an analogy to highlight the importance of using quality materials and following the correct procedures in road construction. Sorry, my dear. There's a big hole in the middle of the road. Look at this pothole. This is one of the common problems that we experience when we are driving on the road. We can find many types of road defects. There are various causes for those defects. Among them is due to improper road construction procedures, such as using low quality materials, inappropriate mixings of materials and ignorance in following the proper steps for mixing materials for road construction. To help you understand the basic engineering concept of road construction, we will use the analogy of looking at the correct procedures for baking a layered cake. Let us now look at what happened to the children and their cakes. Happy Teacher's Day, Mrs. Ida. I bake a cake for you. Happy Teacher's Day, Mrs. Ida. I have a cake for you, but it's not as nice as Amina's. Thank you, Aymana and Aisha, for the lovely cake. Oh, Asya, you don't worry about the cake you gave me. Asya? you like me to show a right way to bake a layer cake? Yes, teacher. I would love to improve my baking skill. Can you come to my house this Saturday? Yes, okay. After watching the video, can you discuss in small groups why is the outcome of the layered cakes between Amina and Asya different although the ingredients used are the same? A few possible reasons for the outcome of the layered cake to be different although the ingredients used are the same are due to ingredient selection in terms of the quality and ratio. Did you get it right? If the ingredients used are of low quality or the ratio used is not the right proportion, you could end up baking a cake which does not rise adequately. Similarly, in road construction, the selection of quality materials is one of the important factors to ensure that the road constructed is long-lasting and comfortable for road users. To further explain this phenomenon, let's go back to our analogy, which is the process of baking a layered cake. Amina and Asya, to bake a layered cake, first, we need to have all the ingredients in the right proportions. We should have 350 gram butter, half tin condensed milk, 1 teaspoon full mixed spice, 1 teaspoon golden syrup, 1 teaspoon vanilla essence, 18 egg yolks, 3 egg whites, 100 gram flour, 180 gram sugar, 1 tablespoon of and 25 milliliter of water. Similar to the process of baking a layered cake, the materials required for road construction should meet the standard specification. The materials should be of qualified and measured in the right proportion. The ingredients that are used for road construction is a combination of two main materials. 
They are bitumen or sometimes referred to as asphalt and aggregates. Bitumen is a semi-solid material obtained from petroleum refinery through the process of petroleum distillation. On the other hand, aggregates are basically stones of different sizes taken from quarry. They are categorized as coarse aggregates, fine aggregates, or filler. Aggregates being obtained from a quarry and activities such as aggregate crushing, grinding, separating into different sizes, and aggregate stockpiles. These materials are then mixed to produce a premix which is called bituminous mixture or asphalt mixture. This proportion of bitumen in the premix is around 4% to 6% whereas the aggregate is 94%. Now that we know about the materials that can be used for road construction, your teacher will provide you with a sample of photos based on your general knowledge about roads and the information provided earlier, you will have to name the type of road of each photos. Also, you will have to visualize what are the materials to be found underneath of the road structure. If your answer is bituminous road, concrete road, and interlocking concrete block pavement, you are right. Let us learn more about road constructions. There are five main road layers involved in road construction. The first layer is called the subgrade, which is the existing soil. The second layer is called the subbase, which consists of coarse aggregates. The third layer is called the road base, which is also made of aggregates, but it is finer than the aggregates in the second layer. The following two layers, which are the fourth and the fifth layers, are commonly known as the surfacing layers. The fourth layer is referred to as the binder course, whereas the fifth layer is named as the wearing course. Both of these layers are made of a mixture of bitumen and aggregates. The binder coarse layer has a higher percentage of coarse aggregates than a fine aggregates, but the wearing coarse has a higher percentage of fine aggregates than coarse aggregates. Based on previous explanation on road layers and the picture shown, why do you think we have to layer the coarse aggregate prior to fine aggregates in road construction. Next, do you think roads are constructed as level or slightly inclined and why? Discuss the answer to this question with your teacher and friends. If your answer for the first question is to enable the fine aggregates to fill the gaps between the coarse aggregate particles and ensure smooth ride on the road, you are right. For the second question, look at the diagram shown. If you think that the road is slightly inclined, you are right. This is to prevent water accumulation on the road surface or to channel the water to the nearest drainage. Now that we understand that the road has several layers and consists of different materials, let us discuss further on the quality of materials used for road construction. We have to ensure that the quality of the materials used have achieved the standard specification. One of the materials for road construction is the aggregates. There are several basic tests that can be conducted to check the properties of aggregates. In road construction, it is important to inspect the material's properties to ensure that the materials have achieved the standard specification. 
This is because in some countries, unscrupulous contractors have been known to dilute materials or to use substandard materials so that they can keep more money since substandard materials are cheaper than what is required by the specification. For example, to test the quality of the aggregates, we can use the following test. Please look at this. Another material for road construction is the bitumen. In order to test the quality of bitumen, we can use the following test. Please look at the table shown. Based on the information described earlier, imagine that you are given a task of checking the aggregate shape property and then decide whether they are suitable to be used in road construction. Using the tools and information given by your teacher, complete the following task. So, after comparing your result with the specification, don't forget to discuss with your friends. If the flakiness index is more than 15%, the aggregates provided are considered not suitable to be used in the road construction. This is because the presence of high amount of flaky aggregates are considered as undesirable in road construction because of their tendency to break down during compaction and affect the aggregate interlock within the road structure. As a result, it will reduce the strength and durability of the road. Now we know the materials that should be used for road construction. Through the previous explanation and activity provided, you should be able to identify the quality of material through various tests. At this stage, the students are expected to have the knowledge and ability to make decisions on the basic material selection. Another important factor that will be highlighted on road construction is the procedure. Let us go back to the scenes in the kitchen with the teacher and her students, Asya and Amina, to show the importance of following the right steps in the process of baking a layered cake. The same process applies to road construction where the road is constructed layer by layer following the right sequence of procedure. Now, the ingredients are ready. We have to mix all of them. However, we have to follow the correct sequence to make sure they all mix well. After that, the cake will be prepared layer by layer. We have to make sure each layer is well cooked and attached to each other. In road construction, there are a few steps that have to be followed correctly. First, it starts with the process of preparing the materials in the correct proportion. Next, the materials are mixed together in a plant. Then, premix which is ready will be delivered to the road construction site. Based on the materials and instruction given, students work in a small group to solve a case study which is related to the topic. Asya and Amina, the cake is now ready. You can see the cake has a very nice texture and different layers. 
Now you know the importance of using the right proportion of materials and procedure during the process of baking a cake. As a conclusion, this lesson has tried to highlight the importance of following the correct specification for road construction using the analogy of baking a layered cake. Based on what we have learned from the process of baking a layered cake, we can relate it to the situation in which it has been applied in the engineering field of road construction. As an engineer, you have to take the responsibility from the design to the construction work. This is to ensure the structure is constructed according to the specification, safe and in good condition to the user. It should be noted that this video only highlights on the perspective of using quality materials and following the correct procedures in road construction. Please take note, there are many layers in the cake, but each layer consists of similar materials, yet in real road construction, each layer contains different material. I would also like to highlight that there are other factors to be considered in constructing a road, not only those that have been shown earlier. Can you think of the factors? I shall leave you to discuss the answer with your teacher and friends. Have fun! The other factors that should be considered for road construction are the traffic volume, soil properties, weather condition, and missionaries. For example, the traffic volume and soil properties should be properly estimated because the road must be adequately designed to accommodate the accumulated traffic. This is to avoid the structural damage of the road. Another factor is the weather condition. The construction of road should be avoided during the periods of high rainfall to prevent the deterioration of the road. In addition, selection of the machineries to be used for the road construction is also very important that determines the effectiveness and the quality of the road structure. The aim of this module is to show the students the art of road construction and causes for problematic roads. They need to understand the importance of carrying out road construction in a proper way. The techniques adopted are not complex but based on a simple concept. The main activity is to ensure the students can understand the process of material selection in road construction which involves the materials proportion and quality of materials. Generally, the students will be given simple activities which is aimed to ensure the student discover a simple concept of road construction by comparing it to the layered cake. In order to continue with the module, the students need to know the basic knowledge of flexible pavement. They will also need to know basic algebra and simultaneous equation in order to compute an expression for the uncertainties. At the end of the module, the students will be given activities to solve for a better understanding of the concept. The module should not take more than 15 minutes to complete if the students have the basic knowledge as mentioned. The first activity asks the students to come out with a few reasons of the problem related to the layered cake as shown in the video. This is to answer why is the outcome of the two layered cakes are different although the ingredients used are the same. In the second activity, the students are divided into small groups and are required to find the right aggregate proportion for the given problem. The students will be given question sheet and instructions. In the third activity, within the small groups, the students have to conduct a few aggregate tests. The students are given aggregate samples. They are required to conduct simple aggregate tests to determine the quality of the aggregate given. Based on the test, the students need to come out with comments and recommendations. During the fourth activity, 
In groups, the students will be given a case study where they are required to build a small-scale road model for the given problem. The materials and tools are given. In this task, they need to apply all the information knowledge to solve the problem. Finally, this module needs to be summarized in terms of the fact that the material selection and its quality as well as following the correct procedures are important in road construction. Additionally, the teacher needs to mention the other factors that has to be considered in road construction.